Hi, this is Janet Eifred. This is part two of my decimal numbers videos. Part one was understanding decimals and rounding and ordering and so on. Part two is adding and subtraction. And part three will be multiplying and dividing. So let's get started with adding decimal numbers. If we have to do 23, which is 2, 3, point. Now, as I explained in part 1, any number has got an invisible point and then zeros after that. Okay, and then I add to 23, 8.701. Now, it needs to be 8.701. So my 8 and my 3 are the units in those numbers. The 0 and the 7 are the tenths in that numbers. Those two zeros are the hundredths and those 0 and 1, that's the thousandths. Okay, and now we can simply just add it. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 7 is 7, 8 plus 3 is 11, and we can write a little carry 1 there, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, so my answer there will be 31.701. Okay, now in my workbook I've got these grids for you to practice to become good in this and then eventually we will do it without the grid. So you try to do this now, pause the video. We're moving now to the answers and there's the answers. Pause the video and check your answers. Just remember to line up the points and to write the point in the same place in the answer and that's all you need to do for adding. So we're moving on now. This is page 12, so up to then it will be the grids for you to practice. And this is just adding without the grids now. So let's try number 1 there. Let's just see how we will do it. We will write 105.6. Now you will see I leave a lot of space between my numbers because that helps me to work accurately and neatly and not get confused. So I write it almost as if it was still in the grid. And then the 60.01, I have to add to that, so it will be 60.01. Okay, and now we can put a zero there, because as I showed you in part one, any number can have a zero after the point like this when there's no whole number after it. Okay, we add, we usually draw a line and add. If you need help with adding, please go my, to my addition to video and workbook because in there I will teach you how to do column addition. By this time we expect you to know that. Let's just check that you can do it. 0 plus 1 is 1, 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 0 is 5, 0 plus 6 is 6, 1 plus nothing is 1. And don't forget point, point and point there. In other words, that answer will be 165.60. Okay, pause the video and you do the rest. We're moving to the answers. There you go, there's your answers. Please pause the video and check them. Okay, now we're going to move to subtracting and we've got the grids again to practice this. Now subtracting can be a bit harder simply because it is subtracting. 40.5, let's do number one together. Unless you feel comfortable, you can pause the video and try these on your own. Else it is 40, I've got my point there and the five. And I have to take away 0 0.655. Okay, now don't forget you can add your zeros in here as I showed you in part one. 
it doesn't change the value it's only placeholders and now we can take away now if you don't know how to take away like this you can watch my subtraction to video and go to that workbook because there we will practice this here we assume you know it but let me help you with this one unless you want to try at this stage to do it on your own then please pause the video and do that now I want to take 5 from 0 but I cannot so I have to go and borrow from the 0 but oops I cannot there's only a 0 so I have to go to the 5 and borrow I take from the 5 there's 4 left and now I have 10 okay now I still need the one there so I still need to continue to borrow I need to borrow from the 10 it becomes a 9 <coughs> let's make that clear that that's a 9 and then this becomes a 10 okay now it's 10 take away 5 which is 5 9 take away 5 which is 4 now can I take 6 from 4 no I cannot so I have to go and borrow but I cannot borrow there because there's nothing so I have to go on and borrow from the 4 it becomes a 3 and that becomes a 10 now I can borrow from the 10 and it becomes a 9 and this will become 14 now 14 take away 6 is 8 and then that is a 9 9 take away 0 is 9 and 3 take away nothing is 3 so my answer will be 3 9.845 okay pause the video and you do the rest now if you find this hard I think maybe this is a good one to do with you 300 300 we remember this is a number there's an invisible point after it and we can add also zeros after that point and we take away one two two and we line up the points eight one now we have to take away now this is always a challenge when you've got a number like this so we cannot take one from zero so I have to borrow we can't borrow we can't borrow we can't so we can only go there and borrow it becomes a two this becomes a ten then we borrow again it becomes a nine and this becomes a ten but we still need to borrow so we borrow from the ten we get a nine and this becomes a ten and now we need to borrow from this ten it becomes a nine and that becomes a ten just make sure you write neater than I do. 10 take away 1 is 9. 9 take away 8 is 1. 9 take away 2 is 7. 9 take away 2 is 7. 2 take away 1 is 1. So my answer to this sum is 177 point make sure you can see the point one nine do make sure you write your point properly I've seen people only make dots which can sometimes is if there's another dot on your page be quite confusing <coughs> so make it a little bit bigger when you write just to make it very clear okay post the video if you haven't yet and do the rest we're moving to the answers now and there you go there's your answers so I show you how I borrow there in the answers in the workbook it's very clear in the workbook how we do this sums. Um, so please download the workbook and keep practicing until you can do this confidently pause the video and check this and we're moving on to the subtraction where we don't have the grit so here we just want you to do this without a grit and shall we do number three together that is 6.41 okay 
I need a lot of space. I leave a lot of space here between my numbers. Simply because I like to do it that way and I don't like to cram up my numbers because I know I'm taking away, I'm going to borrow, I'm going to have to write a lot in there. So it's quite useful to get into this habit of writing neatly below each other. So we are doing number three here. Zero, zero, four, six. Okay, now you can see we've got one, two numbers there, one, two. After the point, we need a third and we need a fourth one which we can make zeros. We can say here we take away. My students ask me, is it necessary to write the takeaway? It's good to know what you're doing, especially if you mix them up. And if you forget what you're busy doing, so try to be systematic and work in a very systematic way where you remember what you're doing. Now we need to take away. So can we take 6 from 0? No, we cannot. We have to borrow, but there's a 0, so we have to move on. We have to borrow there. It becomes 0. That becomes a 10. Now we need to borrow from the 10 again, it becomes a 9, and that becomes a 10. Now 10 take away 6 is 4, 9 take away 4 is 5, 0 take away 0 is 0, 4 take away 0 is 4. The point very important, it line up, and 6 take away 0 is 6. So my answer to that one is 6.4054. Okay, pause the video, you do the rest. Now there's the answers for you. Please pause the video and check your answers. Okay, and we're moving on to page 18 in your workbook where we're going to mix them up. So we have taking away and adding together on one page without a grid. So you have to be very systematic here. Try to write neatly below each other every single number. Fill in your space holders as zeros. And remember that sometimes you will take away, sometimes you will add and practice this. Pause the video and see if you can do this. And we're moving on to the answers. There's the answers for you. Please check those answers. Okay? Now, we've also reached the end of this video, so pause the video if you still want to check that. And then please download the video, the workbook, by clicking on the link at the bottom and practice this. Please also come back to watch part 3, which is multiplying and dividing, which is really the tricky one. And then also watch part 1 and all the other videos that I've posted on all the basic skills you need in maths. And then thank you very much for listening to me.